Illinois farmers can now sample their fields for soybean cyst nematode at no cost. The new program aims to help producers save money and motivate them to sample fields to better guide management decisions. Stephanie Porter with the Illinois Soybean Association joins us now for more on this. Stephanie, thank you so much for being here. Good morning to you. I uh, appreciate you taking the time. This is obviously good news. So tell us about this new program and how it came about. Uh, sure. So uh, soybean cyst nematode is really one of the most important uh, pests affecting soybeans, not just in Illinois, but uh, the Midwest. And I think we've become complacent and not had to worry about it because we have such great resistance um, within some of our soybean varieties today. However, um, these, you know, most often we can't see them. Um, a lot of times we can't see uh, the actual symptoms. We can see cysts on roots. Um, those are the female uh, nematodes. But the main issue is that over the past 30 years or so, that the soybean cyst nematode has overcome the PIA8788 source of resistance that's used in almost all commercial soybean varieties today. And so that is why we've come to partner with the University of Illinois Plant Clinic and offer some free soybean cyst nematode testing. So tell us about this testing. How exactly does it work? And what do farmers need to know want to get their hands on this? Yeah, so this is a time that, uh, I mean, you can anytime, but this is a time most farmers uh, test, do soil testing. So while you're out doing your soil testing, you can also test your soil for egg counts for soybean cyst nematode. Um, normally, this costs $25 to send it in to the U of I plant clinic, but via a fund, uh, funded project by ISA this year, we're all covering the cost of those tests. And also for shipping for Illinois farmers through August 31st, 2023. So Illinois farmers, can other states kind of send their stuff as well? Uh, uh, so currently uh, there are some other set, uh, states running programs, but this is just going to be offered to Illinois farmers via the, the Illinois checkoff. Um, and so we're also making sure that we're going to see how this goes this year, and we hope that it's possible to actually offer it in the coming years. We'll see how successful it is. Stephanie, uh, you said that over 30 years we've watched these uh, soybean cyst nematodes really overcome resistance and now trying to get, of course, them, uh, to pull back a little bit on, on the issue that you're seeing in your field. So how big of an issue is this in that region where you are? What are Illinois farmers really seeing? I mean, how big of an issue? So in the past, in 2018 and then um, through 2020, the U of I actually took a look at this and, and looked at numbers, and we have found that soybean system toad is increasing. Um, so we want to make sure that we continue that research that's ongoing to survey across the state. Um, we're also funding other projects um, that actually have been multi-year studies. Um, to, to find some other management opportunities against SDN, like using cover crops, and then also ways uh, to detect them. So not everybody likes the soil sample. Um, so the soy, uh, Southern Illinois University is taking a look at multispectral platforms or drone imagery to help us spot the SDN in the field. Just great information. So many resources right there at their fingertips for Illinois farmers. Just go to the university for more information for our farmers and producers there. Yeah, you can do that, or you can visit lsoyadvisor.com backslash SCN, and we have all the information there, or you can email free SCN testing at illinois.edu. Great stuff, Stephanie. Thank you so much for joining us. Stephanie Porter with the Illinois Soybean Association.